take away in that quarter. The big guys started playing better. They were able to pick their spots and they were able to convert when they are asked to score. Kasi si Manalili consistent na maglalaro eh. So yan yung plus 17. Four players from the Squires have reached double digits. Manalili with 26, Silorio with 13. As we see Manalili make it 28. 28 points, a career high for Jonathan Moses Titing Manalili. Parting of the Red Sea. You lay up na yun, di ba? Pero diretso sa gitna. Lead us to the promised land. Daep gets the lucky bounce. Soft touch for the big man. Diamante and Navarro also in double digits for the Squires with 10 points. Navarro. Diamante. Diamante. Oh! George Diamante, how long have you been playing basketball? Yeah, gorgeous George, going baseline. Pasok na pasok yung kamay. Sa pagpihit, nakalusot. Halos magtinikling na sa ilalim. Dupot sa kabila. That's the type of stuff you only see at the pros. And Navarro muffs that dunk. Yeah, that's a given. It's okay. He went for it. Let's make it up. Maranili. Pops the ball away from Asido. Manalini. Navarro. Oh. Navarro looking for Manalini. Trying to get that 30 piece nugget. Balili. Diamante wants a clear out. Diamante. Baseline. Runs out of time. Bola na sa perpetual. Valencia. Oh, good steal. Wow. Great timing by Balili. And Manalini. No? Saan ang kamay pagunta sa katawan? Let's get an update on the Latran side with Fatima Reyes. Anton, isa sa pilit na ginigising ni Coach Allen Ricardo simula pa kanina ay ang tandem nila George Diamante at Titing Manalili. At mukhang umepekto naman ang matinding tapikan na ginawa niya sa dalawang ito. Kaya naman ngayong fourth quarter, nais nice ni Coach Allen na mas paganahin ng utak sa pagdedesisyon. Lalo na ngayon na hindi lang isa, hindi lang dalawa ang nagising kung hindi ang lahat. Anton and Coach Hammer, there are two things to do to back the game one. And according to Coach Allen, it's present of mind and wise decision making. Now let's see how the defending champions will execute this. Thank you very much, fans. But you know, I remember bringing this up in the final four as we see this amazing move by Diting Manalili. Even though Perpetual is the number one seed, can you say that the Letran Squares are really the underdogs in this matchup? That's what Coach Allen wants to say. That's what he says. But the players won championships throughout the offseason. And uh, kilala ko kasi si Alin eh. Kahit yung pinakamaliit na detalye, gagamitin yan para mainis ka, para maglaro ka ng madiin. I remember last season, during your interview with him, he was talking about how he didn't set the expectations high. Oh, <laughs> and alam mo, yung interview na yun, I, I needed to keep myself from shedding a tear. Dahil, alam mo yun, I'm so proud of how he how uh, of his journey din talaga. And there it is. The 30 piece of a guy who has been absolutely scintillating in this game. Super scintillating sensation. I don't know. Roluna trying to ignite a comeback. So the record, the single game record this season was tallied by San Sebastian's Rubik Dana, 34 points. Manalili with, Manalili with a chance to break that. Manalili for 32. And natapikan pa itong si Valencia from behind. Bibilis ng kamay ng cards na Letran Squires. I mean, last year, alam na natin yan eh. With Baliling Itong si uh, Manalili. Ma, ma, ano talaga sila? Active hands. Six minutes and 39 seconds remains here. Uh, how about this? Points in the paint. 62 to 36. 
And most of that coming off penetrations and drop passes. Perpetual number one scoring team in the NCAA, averaging over 90 points, but well, they've been clamped down. Right now, just 67, game. partner. Alam niyo na maama dito ni Manalili at saka nito ni Silorio Jamante. Nakikita yung youthfulness pa rin ng team ni Coach Jock. Jamante, yung body type niya parang Arwin Santos. Arwin Santos, exactly. Parehas tayo na nakikita. And there you see our volleyballs who we interviewed at the half. Of course, Mingming Puzon, Razel Aldea, of course, Tere Manalo. Um, in the back, Rian Cañete. In the middle, of course, Darian Gallardes of EAC. And of course, from the Letran Lady Knights, Jules Castro. So, yan, ang ating mga volleyballs. Getting ready for action. Why? Why? Para ni Sir Seven. Na sa surprise parin sila pag pinapakita sila on camera. Hindi pa sila. Hindi pa sila used to it. Well, they better get used to it because they're being broadcast by GMA now. So, tama meron tayong review dito, Antona. But you see. The intensity of Coach Allen. Nai nagagalit siya kasi they were they're leading, pero nagmamadali yung squad niya. After George dived, nakita mo yung reaction niya. Nilapitan talaga niya yung mga players na. Nai was telling him you got to hustle up. Pero different style na pagsasalita. So I just had a thought, Coach Hamper, because you you mentioned Coach Raiko Toroman, who obviously has a very different play style. Well, we'll go back to this. This discussion later on, punta muna na natin si Arlov De Azul from the Perpetual side. Salamat, Anton. Kalaban nyo lang ang sarili nyo. Huwag nyo sayangan yung pagkakataon kasi nandito na tayo and don't overthink kasi dyan tayo lahat masisira. Ayan ang paulit-ulit na sinasabi ni Head Coach Joe Cleo pa sa Junior Altas. Just have fun daw and just execute the game properly. Kasi nandun naman na daw, kayang-kaya naman daw nila. Kaya naman asahan natin ang pagbawi ng Junior Altas kasi mahaba pa ang oras in this last quarter. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Coach Hammer. Thank you very much, Arlov. It's... A deep hole that they are in, though, right now in the perpetual. Going back to the Raiko Toroman um, effect. Kita mo yung effect eh. The way that they're playing, the way that they're not really dribbling the basketball, finding the spots that they would be able to attack, putting that guard on that pinch post action. That's Euro basketball. Eh. You want to attack the mismatches and you want to make the defense go east to west and hit open jumpers, get extra passes inside the shaded area. Nakakita ka ba ng post move from the big guys? Wala. Galing sa mga pasa in their screeners, divers and screeners. And they can also take that outside shot. Ano to eh? Kasi yan ang basketball play. Last season, Itong Letran Squires, they were very aggressive. Defensively. Defensively, and that, that fueled their offense. Uh -huh. Now their offense seems to be so much more refined that, gaya na sinabi mo, they don't need to dribble, the cuts are yes. there, they know where to pass the ball, alam nila san pumuesto, and that's the Raiko Toroman effect also. Well, it's, the, it's basketball, it's the world view of the game. Dahil naglaro ang World Basketball Championships, nakita natin yung mga teams, ganyan na talaga maglaro. And we're adapting, slowly adapting. And yung mga size din ng players natin, tumatangkad na. Ito na yung mga generations na nagtatangkaran na yung mga bata. So, nai-import na rin yung skill development ng mga coaches sa kanilang mga players. Oh, oh, oh. My goodness. 32 points for Titing Manalili. Just one point away from, actually one basket away from breaking the record of Ruvik Dana. Now he's going for 40. He's definitely going for 40 in this game. Sinalala ko, if I'm not mistaken, OJ scored 30 plus then in game two naman in season 78. If I'm not mistaken, 32 ba o 36? Kasama ko kasi si Allen na nood nun eh, dun kami sa bahay nila. That was one of the few televised juniors championship games. I see this still in there. Manalili, oh, he babied that lay. 
And a little color developing between Borja and Silorio. Ogoko Cruz has been quiet, Coach Hammer, here in this second half. Hindi siya masyadong uh, ginamit. Ogoko Cruz just with six points in 13 minutes. Diamante from the outside. Parang ng darts bigla itong si Diamante. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kalaawit na rebound. Ito medyo may pagod na rin dito. Itong lima ni Coach Allen. So tingnan natin dahil nag-stick siya rito sa rotation na ito. Itong shorter eight-man rotation. Manalili with 32 points in this game. Manalili steps back for the record. Short. And Roluna is able to finish on the fast break. Manalili. Silorio. Diamante. Cyrex Silorio. Manalili almost picking the pocket of Roluna. And there he is, Mark Goho Cruz. Hinahanap natin siya kanina. Quiet here in this second period. He has been the missing piece for the junior Altas. Actually, in the second half, absent siya. Tsaka si Daep, first half naman absent. So kailangan na kailangan niyo yun, yung production. Itong dalawang players na to. It's 2 minutes and 54. We've seen teams make runs. Oh, go Cruz. And, <laughs> you see what he tried to do? While the Latran Squires were huddling, Hinagis na yung ball as a board to try to get the rebound and score. Man, <laughs> just when you thought you've seen everything. And Coach Jock Cleopas is livid on the sidelines. Sinap na ni Coach Allen si Manalili, who is actually walking. Kinakrams na ata dun si Gilid. Yeah, he, he walked to the tunnel and now he's being stretched out. Eh kung ganun kataas yung work rate mo, mapapagod at mapapagod ka rin talaga. So Cruz will now play the point guard role for the defending champions. Navarro. Gazingan back to Jolo Navarro who finishes on the nice two-man game. Again, yun lang yung ginagawa ng mga big guys nila. Set a screen. Dive to the basket. Catch it well. Ang galing sumulo ng mga big guys nito eh. Nakita mo kahit in traffic, nakakasalo sila ng bola. Underrated skill. Triple. Converted right there, but is it too little too late? Pagulayan leading for Petbol and scoring with 13 points. I'll make that 17 points for Jan Pagulayan. Balili. Cyrex Silorio. Rebound. Goho Cruz. Borja. Wow, Manalili and Diamante are coming back on the floor, Coach Hammer. Finishing kick. Finishing kick. So 32 points, 8 boards, 8 assists, 4 steals for Ting Manalili. Punong puno yung stat sheet. I'd like to see him break the record of Ruvik Danag of San Sebastian. Single game scoring record. 34 points here in NCAA season uh -huh. 99. But you know, Anton, the character of this team, despite the antics, they're selfless. Eh. So the record might be there, but the mo most important thing is for them to get this W and have that one game lead.
going into the second game of the finals. They're reviewing this last drive by Borja. And look at Coach Alan Ricardo on the court, still coaching, still motivating, oh. still imparting wisdom to his players. That is who he is. And in animated fashion as well. Kung hindi yan animated, may sakit yan. You gotta love it. So, isipin mo na lang kami sa ensayo. Lagi kami magkakamping dalawa. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some of our teammates are watching right now. And they can not test that. He was your point guard, yeah. right? Yeah. He was my points guard. <laughs> Kaya marami akong rebound kasi si Coach Allen yung... <laughs> Kaya ako na-recruit na big man rebounder kasi si Coach Allen yung point guard ko. <laughs> But I'm really proud of this guy. Really proud of him. A minute and 38 away from a game one victory are the defending champion Letran Squires. Silorio gets it to Diamante who will give it back to their main man, their team captain, Jonathan Moses Titing Manalili. Eight on the shot clock. Manalili. Double crossover, spin move. Diamante gives another possession to the Squires. Silorio. Triple on the way. Balili, no. Diamante gives another possession to Letran. And the ball is in the hands once again of Titing Manalili. Manalili for the record. There it is. Night, night says Jonathan Moses Titing Manalili. Trying to lead the Letran Squires back to the promised land of NCAA Juniors Basketball. The Paris Olympics is fast approaching and several Filipino athletes have already qualified for the international competition. To hype you for the 2024 Olympics, GMA Sports is proud to feature the top Filipino contenders headed for France this year. First up is Asia's best pole vaulter EJ Obiena. Currently ranked second in the world in the men's pole vault event, he booked his ticket to the Paris Games last July after meeting the entry standard of 5.82 meters in the Bauhaus Galan leg of the Diamond League in Stockholm, Sweden. This will be his second consecutive stint in the Olympics. After a controversial decision to part ways with his longtime Japanese mentor Munahiro Kugimiya, Gymnastics phenom Carlos Yulo secured a second trip to the Olympics after placing as the highest. This was the moment. Titing Manalili shooting a three for the record. 35 points. Single game scoring record in NCAA season 99. Juniors basketball. And we got some numbers from the Sultan of Stats, Pong Dukanes, 54 of the 92 points of Letran scored or assisted by that man, number 13, Manalini. Boho Cruz. I'm wondering kung bakit uh, limitado yung minuto nitong si Mark Goho Cruz in the second half, actually. Coach Allen calls a timeout. Letran up 92 to 76. Nanalo ng gold medal si Kapuso star Gil Cuerva sa kauna-unahan niyang competition sa sport na Jiu-Jitsu. Sa post sa Instagram, shinare ni Gil na nakuha niya ang gold matapos manalo sa tatlong laban noong Sabado. Thankful siya sa kanyang mga coach, teammates at training partners. Sa kabila ng panalo, marami pa rin daw siyang kailangan ma-improve lalo na 9 months pa lang siya sa training. Congratulations, Gil!
Good news mga kapuso, pasok na ang Pinay boxers na sina Nessie Petesho at Ira Villegas para sa Paris 2024 Olympics. Qualified ang dalawa matapos magwagi, magwagi sa kinikita ng laban sa Road to Paris First World Qualification Tournament. Jonathan Moses Titing Manalili with that shot. He broke or set the single game scoring record in NCAA Season 99 Juniors Basketball and puts the Perpetual Knights to bed very early in the day on a Saturday here at Game 1. And he's still working. He's still doing damage. Manalili assisting to Silorio. Mahusay itong Silorio maglaro off ball. Alam mo saan pupunta ang mga spots. Sinasabi ni Manalili, tawid mo na lang. And just finished the game. 5.8 seconds of game time remaining before it becomes official. At tumira pa si Gazingan! Wow! Diin! Kung diin! That's a statement. That is a heavy message by the defending champions. And I can say right now that there's no way that they are the underdogs in this final series. They still are the defending champions, Alex Kasingan, making it look so, so easy. What a finish here in game one. I mean, Coach Hammer, that's the type of shot that would ignite a bench-clearing incident. <laughs> Ako, Anthony, sa lang yung sasabihin ko dyan. Kung ayaw mong gawin sa'yo, simula pa lang gawan mo na ng paraan. 